Welcome to our series on research data management. Today's topic is data management planning. And of course, we again stick to our fake science example on squirrel research. Remy Reuse has been granted a project on the evolution of squirrels in entire Europe. The point of the granting conditions are that he must build on the work of Luis Leder and he has to provide a data management plan. It's the first time that Remy is responsible for a project of that size and it's the first time that he has to provide a data management plan. Of course he has heard the term before, but what exactly is a data management plan? And why is it of relevance to my research? He contacts the research data management team at his university and of course then provide him with help. They give him some basic information on a data management plan. A data management plan is a master document that structures and describes the data management according to the specific needs of your project. So while the questions might come from generic areas such as backup and data publication, the answers to these questions are something that is really particular to your own project. And we also do not focus only on the planning aspect. A data management plan concerns all activities along the entire data life cycle, so production, analysis, storage, as well as preservation and reuse. Well, that sounds good to Remy, but where exactly to start? If you have a funder that asks for a data management plan, he typically also provides you with a template. This template is organized into different sections and areas, and there are some questions guiding you to this uh, entire template. And of course, you do not have to answer all the questions, but only the questions that are relevant to your work. For example, a funder template often puts much emphasis on data sharing, how you make your data available later on within your project. Other templates could, for example, also focus aspects on personal uh, information. For example, you have to consider data protection issues, or if you're in an industry corporation, you must think about intellectual property aspects and will have some additional questions in this regard. So if you don't have a template from your funder, your institution might provide you with a generic template that you can make use of. And of course there's also tool support, typically as an online tool. Okay, so let's get started. Remy tries to fill out the details of his data management plan. Typically, there are different aspects to consider. There are some basic administrative information that need to be filled out in order to make a connection to other information pieces. Then you typically have to describe your kind of research data that will occur or be produced or even reused within your project. Then you should also describe the methods, how you treat your data and how you document the methods as well as the data that occur in your project. There are some more questions on how to organize the backup and what to think about preservation, which data to keep, which data to delete. Another important aspect is always data sharing, data publication. So how do you make your research data available and enable reuse, if that is possible within your project context? Finally, we have some aspects of budget and responsibilities. So how much money do you have to spend, for example, on infrastructure, or who is responsible for which part of the data. Remy finds out that some of the questions are not possible to answer yet, but that's perfectly okay. A data management plan always evolves over time and needs to be updated, for example, in the midterm of a project and then in the end in order to provide and really be the master document of the, what has happened in regard to data management within your project. Remy fills out this data management plan. And despite the effort that he has to put into that, he immediately sees the advantages of such a data management plan. For one, there's a clear structure that you have to establish for your project and your data. You must specify who has to spend which efforts and who is responsible for which part of the data. And that clarifies all the interrelation even between different project partners. This all together also helps to ensure a certain level of data quality. Also thinking about what data possibly could be published in the end afterwards 
is something that is really helpful from right to the beginning, because then you also know which data need additional metadata associated so that they indeed can be reused if that is provided, and which kind of licenses must be provided. And of course, this is something that is depending on your project, whether it is possible to publish your data or not. Eventually, all this, of course, also contributes to comply with the good scientific practice. So for Remy, it's clear, despite all the efforts, there's much benefit for his concrete project. So he plans to provide a data management plan for each project in the future. If you have any more questions on data management plans or need assistance in filling out a data management plan template, just contact us via the service desk. Thank you.